Hey guys, Bushcraft412 here. Want to show you my uh, Keltec SU16 uh, shitheads fan setup, SHTF setup. Now, uh, very easy to interchange this system with an AR15 because uh, they do take the same magazines. So, uh, my AR15 has a 24 inch barrel, so not the best for kind of a shitheads fan scenario. So, I'm substituting in the SU16, nice little utility rifle. Um, not by any means saying the AR15 is is worse but just you know guys what I have what I have available to me this is what I'm showing very easy to substitute this with an AR-15 because uh, the accessories and all that are pretty much the same uh, so what I have going on here is uh, I've covered this in videos before my uh, SU-16 is set up with some uh, high see-through scope rings and a small 4x scope with a really long eye relief I have it set up this way so that um Number one, I can use the iron sights, and number two, I have a uh, a four x scope for longer distance shooting. So nice setup, best of both worlds. I can shoot pretty accurately at close range with iron sights, and I can shoot out to a hundred yards or more with the four x scope. So I really like that setup. Really versatile for this gun, and really do enjoy it. Sometimes I go to the range and set up a target at a hundred yards, and set one up at ten, and I'll practice. Uh, Switching back and forth between the targets, you know, especially those days when no one else is there and no one's going to complain for, you know, shooting at the two different targets like that. So, kind of neat. We have a, a muzzle brake on the end, which uh, will help for the uh, uh, quick follow-up shots. Um, does not come standard with it, but it does have a, a threaded uh, barrel. I just have a real cheapo... Uh, sling on this just a real cheap one i didn't want anything too extraordinarily fancy because and to sling this gun you have to modify it and i really didn't want to modify it so it's just a really simple uh sling system uh, but it's kind of nice because it's adjustable i can take it off really quick if i want and, and i'm not uh feeling it in that situation so kind of handy um magazines i have my little bandolier here loaded up with six 30 round magazines all my uh pre-bands well, not all my pre-bands, but I put six pre-bands in here for a total of 180 rounds in here. Six times 30. I have my old uh, Vietnam era 40 rounder here, which I paid an arm and a leg for, which would be my main one, you know, to use when I'm kind of running, gunning, dealing with the situation. And uh, what I found is I never go above a 40. Um, anything above a 40 tends to be really unreliable, so I tended to stick with that. This 40, uh, I've used quite a bit um, over the years, and it's very reliable. I put a new spring in it, so it's kind of up-to-date and nice, and well worth the money, even though I did spend a, a small fortune. So, And then, as we know, with the Keltec uh, SU-16, you can also keep a uh, magazine in the stock, so I have a little 20-rounder in the stock. And here's <coughs> Ooh. Um, how... Uh, I would set this up. The uh, six uh, thirty rounders I would have set up with some kind of military, uh, oh, some kind of military round. Um, you know, something brass case, reliable, good, good, uh, you know, good overall just military ammo, full metal jackets. In here, I would put just whatever cheap, you know, kind of. Ah, oh, ammo you may need in a hurry, you know, something if you're going to be in a a gunfight or whatever, you know, like maybe just some Russian steel case or something really cheap like that. You need to burn through some rounds quick. And up here, in this little 20 rounder in the stock, what I would do with that is put some match grade ammo in that. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Holy cow. Um, so it has some really cheap ammo to burn for very very close range i would have some decent ammo for mid ranges and then some uh good quality ammo for long distance shooting 100 yards or 100 yards plus when accuracy counts so i have a capability to keep my ammo separate and uh plus a way to store it with that bandolier i really think i need to get a few more uh accessories for uh for this setup i think i need to get some belt pouches and etc for this setup, but one of the share, I think it's a pretty decent uh, shit has the fan setup, especially if you are in a 
you know, like Red Dawn kind of situation where you need some serious firepower, you can get yourself a couple of bandoliers and, you know, and with the AR-15, there's even more accessories for the AR-15 where you can really load up, you know, chest rigs and, and all that. So just wanted to share what I have in my little setup at this time. It's not the best, but, you know, it is a work in progress. Hope you enjoyed.